name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. God the Father forgives us in Christ, and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and give us life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servant's grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith, that we may evermore be defended from all adversities. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment? And who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, he does not go faint or weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. 
the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. We come boldly to the throne of grace, praying to the Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for mercy and grace. Father of heaven, whose love profound a ransom for our souls has found, we pray for the world created by your love, for its nations and governments, for the peace of the world, for good relations between races and nations. We pray especially at this time for the people of the United States. And of course, we also continue to pray for all suffering as a result of the pandemic. Extend to them your peace, pardoning love, mercy, and grace. Almighty Son, incarnate Word, our prophet, priest, redeemer, Lord, we pray for the church created for your glory, for its ministry to reflect those works of yours. Extend to us your salvation, growth, mercy and grace. Eternal Spirit, by whose breath the soul is raised from sin and death, we pray for families and individuals created in your image, for the lonely, the bereaved, the sick and the dying. Breathe on them the breath of life and bring to them your mercy and grace. Thrice Holy, Father, Son and Spirit, mysterious Godhead three in one, we pray for ourselves, for your church, for all who we, we, we remember before you, for those whose years minds fall at this time. We remember Wendy Perry, Margaret Smith, Leslie Proud, Mary Edwards, Brinley Edwards, priest, and Bernard Charles, priest, and Henrietta Barnett, founder of this garden supper. Bring us all to bow before your throne in heaven, to receive life and pardon, mercy and grace for all eternity. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. 
Peace to you from God our Heavenly Father. Peace from His Son, Jesus Christ, who is our peace. Peace from the Holy Spirit, the life giver. The peace of the triune God be always with you. according to your holy will, 
these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Blessed Mary, June, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. And we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. I might like to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith, that we may know you in all your ways, and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. God the Father, who first loved us and made us accepted in the beloved Son, bless you. God the Son, who loved us and washed us from our sins in his blood, bless you. God the Holy Spirit, who sheds abroad the love of God in our hearts, bless you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of the one true God, to whom be all love and glory for time and eternity, come down upon you and remain with you always.